many things. Also, very welcome from my side to this nice conference. My name is Stefan von der Heide. I'm from a company, CCS, Quantum Conversion Specialist. We are located in Hamburg, Germany. So it's my pleasure to present you our, let's say, experience we have made with a new Metagraphy, Metagrapho API, and, uh, which we have used in a Cyrillic, in the fact, Ukraine handwritten project. What will I do now is to provide you an, an overview about the project. I will tell you the, about the solution architecture we have used. And of course, I will tell you something about our experience about the new Metagrapho API and finally present some results. The project itself is about digitizing handwritten birth, marriage and death registries, where the, the job was to, to collect, let's say, the main information like names, dates, and places, which were from the second half of the 19th century until the beginning of the 20th century. And it's a form based, handwritten material with some variants in layout, writing style, and of course, like typical, like scanning quality. And you can see, for example, here, this is a typical sample, some tables filled in handwritten form. Then might be the scanning is not that good, or you have some, let's say, manual overwriting in the lower left part. Another form you see, let's say, more columns on the right, and so on, you know. So it's more or less the same on the one hand, on the other side, it is pretty different in variances. So there is something to, to do. We did it in the following way, and uh, the scans were provided by our customers, so they are as they are. Then we as a company have our own digitization software, which we call Doc, DocWiz, and with this, we have done the copying and de-skewing, and let's say as main job, the, the segmentation part and the classification part so that we get in the end something like 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 this here so we can get text regions with um, uh, the dates and well here not the name but let's say candidates for the name but typically in this case the names are in the yellow let's say a bigger paragraphs and a location maybe or an age is, is, is on the left column and so on so so this, let's say, this is a result from our own software. And then it is put on the new Metagrapho API. So let's say the transcribus part here is now coming into place, which, and, and this is doing the, the line segmentation. As you have seen, we have recognized the whole paragraph. And of course, the main job is to do the HTR. With the text we have got back, and now uh, we re imported to our own, own software using additional some named recognition really to identify the names in the full text thing, some post processing, which you need in this case, and some export, and then we had it. So this is how we process the workflow in this job. And maybe an important general hint is here, and uh, let's say our doc with software is a kind of, let's say, Workflow software, which runs all, all steps automatically, but it has a chance to, let's say, for manual QA, which is important in this case because it's not, none of these steps are perfect, you know. So you, you really need some persons if you want to reach some poor quality in the end to, to make some manual checks or even corrections. Okay, really coming now to the Metagraph or API in a bit more detail. Maybe for the one you're not very know what this is. So we used it in, let's say, in our case, in a kind of, let's say, simple way. At least we think this is, this is simple. So you have some model and you provide via this API the image, the model, the idea of the model, and in our case, some layout information. In this case, the text regions. And we will get back the next detailed level of layout. This is text lines here. And the main topic for our project here was the text itself, of course. 
and the training is independent of the API was done with the usual transcribus tools. So training was independent. We had this model and then we really have used this REST API. The purpose is mainly really mass production. You know, we want to produce really a lot of this kind of data. And uh, we were in the good position that we are somehow, let's say, early adapters. So we had a chance to discuss and define, let's say, or get some influence, let's say, on the API definition, which was very helpful for us. But I hope also a bit for the read transcribus team. And I can say really that we appreciate very much the, how we work together. So the was kind of working. Many thanks for the transcribus team here again. And we can tell you really openly and honestly that the API is already pretty good in stability and performance. So this is really ready now for using it. And maybe just a result from the overall thing, just the HTR result we have we could reach was a character rate up about 8%, which was reasonable in our context. Our purpose was to identify, let's say, some names, dates, and so on. So, so even if this is character data is for the general character data rate, let's say we have to evaluate. I do not have a number, unfortunately, about the important data, of course, but. I can tell you, let's say, from what we want to reach and how satisfy the customers and from commercial perspective, it was very successful. So to summarize it, in our opinion, this is a good working API and what it was very useful in our context. Yeah, that's it. You may contact me later if you like. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan, for this interesting uh, insight uh, into yeah, the practical use of one of our more recent products, uh, the Metagraph for Processing API. Are there any questions from the audience? Anything you would like to know or uh, comment on? Maybe a little comment from my side. Um, yeah, uh, as I said in my uh, earlier presentation or my part of the next gen uh, presentation. One of the future goals for Transcribus is to further facilitate um, large scale processing. And this is basically what we have done uh, and for which we are providing a tool now. And yeah, we're really happy that it seems to be working and hope that the collaboration will be as fruitful because I can really come uh, return the compliment and it's been a pleasure to work with you guys. So no questions, because then I think it's time for our next talk, but not before I give you a mug. <laughs>